Hi everyone, welcome to my practice. My name is Elise and this is Mia. Um, well, thank you for joining me for your yoga practice today. Today, here in Belgium, it's full moon. Uh, we are the 20th of October, so full moon is a good time to release. So it's a good time to uh, stretch your hips. We tend to have stored emotion in the hips, so we open them. So uh, hop on your mat and let's get started. All right, you can welcome to your comfortable seated position. You can remove your butt cheeks. So you have a nice anchor through the sit bones. You can grow your spine, tall and spacious. Relax your arms. And you can take a moment to settle on your mat. Taking the time to settle the breath and to settle into this meditation position. You can start by finding your breath, the natural and simple flow of the breath. You don't need to change anything, you don't need to force anything. You can just notice the abdomen or the chest rising as you inhale and then softly falling as you exhale. And when you bring a real focus to the breath, the nervous system quiets down. The heartbeat slows down and all the focus is on the breath so the focus cannot be on anything else and whenever thoughts intrude you can gently bring the awareness back to the breath And as you continue with that gentle focus on the breath, you can relax the whole of your face. The forehead as spacious as the sky. You can soften the muscles around the eyes, separate the teeth so you can relax your jaw. And you can drop the shoulders. Let the arms be heavy. And your spine is straight, but it's not stiff. You have a natural curve in the spine. And you can release the belly. We tend to hold the belly in. See if you can really let the belly go. And then soften your buttocks. No need to squeeze the buttocks also, release it. And notice the anchor through the sit bones. And then relax the legs, the feet, and the toes where we tend to hold tension. And become aware of your position onto the mat. And here you can set an intention for your practice today. And as it is the full moon today, you can think of something that you would like to release. Maybe a bad habit, maybe a toxic relationship or negative thoughts. Don't build too much, too many stories around it. Just find something that doesn't serve you any longer. And in front of it, you can bring the words, I release. And you can repeat it silently or out loud three times. And now exhale all the air. And through the nose, inhale for a count of five, four, three, two, one, hold, suspend the breath 
and exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Suspend the breath. And inhale through the nose, five, four, three, two, one. Suspend the breath. And exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Suspend the breath. And one more time. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Suspend. And exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Suspend the breath. Now take a deep inhale and fully exhale. <sighs> Let the breath resume in natural rhythm. Bring the hands in front of the heart and you can slightly lift the, the elbows and you can find the space between the armpits and you press the hands together and when we bring the left hand and the right hand we bring um, the masculine and the feminine, the nadis, which are called ida and pingala, the yin and the yang. Now rub the hands together. Cup the hands in front of the eyes, make sure you don't smash them and you can feel some healing vibrations here. And then bring the eyes open, separate the fingers, and release. Oh, I cut myself. All right, good. So let's do a pose that is called uh, angel's pose. So you bring the right chin with a 90 degree angle with the thigh, and you bring the left knee like towards the right foot. And so you have, if I show you from the side, something like that. And the foot is flexed, the back foot is flexed onto the floor. So you have 90 degree angles in your legs. Good, so the right leg is forward. Now bring the hands forward and start to walk nicely. And you should feel a very nice stretch in your hip. Now you can stay here or you can drop the elbows to the floor. You can also bring the hands into, the, the hands into your, your face, ah, your face into your hands, good and you breathe through your hips. So you make the stretch as, is, as intense as you want to. The deeper you go, the more in intense the stretch. You can take two more breaths here. Good. And then slowly crawl back. Now inhale, lift the arms above the head. As you exhale, you twist to the right, left hand on top of the right knee, right hand behind. Inhale to find length in your spine, and as you exhale, you twist. And you should feel that on the whole of your left side towards the left obliques. You inhale to grow the spine tall, and as you exhale, you can deepen the twist. Take one more full cycle of breath. Now, as you inhale, lift both arms up towards the sky. And as you exhale, release. Good. And you swap it up. You bring the left leg forward and the right leg into 90 degrees as, as well. Both sit bones are to the floor, although the right might be lifting. Hands forward. And you do the same thing. So you walk forward. And now you, de you decide on the intensity of the stretch. You can either go all the way and drape the left calf muscle or you can also be on your forearms or you are onto the elbows and you bring your head on in your hands. Good. Try to soften the shoulders and you breathe here through your left hip. And the hips are a place where we tend to hold tension and stress, repressed emotions. So as our intention today is to release we we'll work on our hips to find deep breeze. Take one more breath. And then crawl back up. 
Inhale, lift the arms above the head, drop the shoulders. Exhale, twist to the left. Right hand on top of the left knee, left hand behind. Inhale to grow your spine tall. And as you exhale, twist. Take a few breaths here. When you inhale, you find length, and then you can deepen the twist. One more time, inhale. And as you exhale, deepen your twist. Inhale, come back up and to center. And exhale to release. Good. And from here, you can, you can come back to an all four position. Uh, not all four, sorry, never mind. Um, I meant a cross-legged position. Good. And you can grab your knees. Good. So we'll do a little bit of a Kundalini uh, exercise here. So our inhale is here. We inhale here in center. As we exhale, we go towards the right knee. We exhale here through the nose. We inhale back to center. And we exhale towards the left knee. The left knee. Inhale up. So the torso comes up. Exhale right. Inhale up through the nose. Exhale left. Inhale right. Inhale up. Exhale to the right. Inhale up. Exhale to the left. Inhale up. Bow to the right. Inhale up. Bow to the left. One more time each side. Inhale upright. Exhale bow to the right knee. Inhale up. Exhale bow to the left knee. Inhale back to center and exhale release. So this is really good to massage the digestive, uh, digestive organs. And we'll do one more in this series. It's called Sufi Circles. So the, the movement comes really from the waist and it's a good massage to the digest, digestive organ. So as we inhale, we bring the shoulder forward and we hover the floor. And as we exhale, we straighten the arms, we go back. We inhale, we hover the floor forward, and we exhale, we go back. You find also a bit of movement in the shoulders. Take a few more in this direction before we switch. Good, you feel all the digestive organs being massaged, and when you reach forward, you take a little pause, and then you go to the other side. A few more, inhaling forward, Exhaling back. Oh, it actually feels really good. And then back to center. And release here. Good. And from here now you can find you can find your all four position. Alright, so make sure that the wrists are underneath the shoulders, the knees under the hips, and your feet they disappear flat behind your knees. Good, spread the fingers wide and your thumbs are looking towards one another. Now, as you inhale, you lift the right leg up. You flex the foot so you make sure not to open the hip. And for more balance, you can roll the toes of the left foot. And then you extend the left arm forward, but you bring the shoulder back into the socket. Now, bend the right knee. Flip the left thumb towards the ceiling, towards the floor. Make a big circle with the left arm and place your right foot into the hand. And now as you inhale, you kick the right foot into the left hand. You lift the knee, you lift up the chest and you gaze forward. You can even gaze up if you wanted to. Good. If you can't grab hold of it, it's fine. You can just stay with the knee bend and, and reach. Don't worry too much about it. So just a nice opening here. Take a breath in, exhale back to spinal balance, left arm forward, right arm back, right leg back, inhale here, and exhale to lower down. So don't worry if you can't reach, all right? Now as you inhale, the left leg lifts up and back, flex the foot, make sure you don't open the hip, and now the right arm forward with the thumb facing up to start with. Press onto the left hand and roll the toes of the right foot for more balance. Now, bend the left knee, flip the right thumb towards the floor, big circle with the right arm. You grab either the toes, maybe the ankle, wherever you can reach. As you inhale, you kick the foot into the hand. You lift the left knee, you find a good stretch in the right shoulder. 
One more full circle of breath. And then inhale. Exhale, release to your spinal balance. And down. Good. Very nice. All right. Now from here, stretch the left leg to the side. I'll show you from this side. And, and put the foot flat on the floor. And you see my knee is aligned with my big toe and the foot is parallel to the short edge of the mat. Roll the toes of the right foot. Make one step forward with the hands. Take an inhale here and as you exhale, you push the floor away from you and you bring the, right, the bum towards your right heel. And you gaze towards your fingertips. So you keep a nice natural, or you can even gaze to the floor actually. So you keep a nice natural curve of the floor. And here you should feel a good stretch in the inner thigh. Good. Take one more full cycle of breath. Now as you inhale, lift the hips again. And bring the hands underneath the shoulders. I mean the wrist underneath the shoulders. Now, as you inhale, lift the right arm up. Shoulders are stacked, gaze towards your right hand. Activate your fingertips, so you're twisting all the way to the right. Nice. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, thread the right arm underneath the left and reach. We are not going to the floor, we're just hovering and we reach to the left. And two more. As you inhale, lift the right arm up. Activate fingers, stack shoulders, release them though. Inhale again and exhale right arm underneath the left. Go reach, reach, reach. So you must bend the left elbow a little bit. One last time. Inhale to reach. And exhale underneath the left arm. Bend a little bit the elbow. Inhale, reach. And exhale, release. Good. Now from here, very nicely, come and stand with your torso up straight. So you bring the shoulders on top of the hips, the hips on top of the knee. Ooh, it's nice here, it's nice stretch. Bring the left hand on top of the left knee. Inhale, lift the right arm up. And as you exhale, we side bend all the way. You open your right shoulder and your right chest. Imagine you want to bring the belly button towards the ceiling. And the left hand reaches for the left ankle. You inhale, you reach, you exhale. And now tuck the belly in, inhale, lift the right arm up. And exhale, release, good. Very delicately bring your hands back onto the floor and bring the, right, the left knee back underneath the left hip. And notice here a moment the difference between the right side and the left side. No need to put words, but you can feel a difference. And we do that little sequence on the other side. So extend the right leg to the side. Make sure, although it's not an exact science, that the knee and the big toe are aligned and the foot is parallel to the short edge of the mat. Roll the left toes, bring the hands forward one step. Inhale, and as you exhale, press the hips towards the back heel. Maybe you can even sit on it, see how far you can go. And you gaze towards the floor right underneath you, so you keep a long, long spine. If you want to go all the way down, actually, you can also go all the way down. It depends a bit on the intensity you want to give to the stretch. And you breathe through your right inner thigh. For two more breaths. One more breath. And now pull onto the hands, lift the hips again. Bring the wrist right underneath the shoulders. Press onto the right hand and as you inhale, you lift the left arm up. Try to stack the shoulders. Activate the fingertips and you twist the torso to the left. Breathe in. As you exhale, left arm reach all the way to the right. You can bend the right elbow a little bit. You want to reach, reach, reach. Inhale, lift the left arm up. And as you exhale, you reach. And one more time. Inhale, open to the left. And as you exhale, reach to the right. 
Inhale, open to the left. And as we exhale, we release. Good. And now from here, gently come and stand onto your knee. And we do the same last one, gate pose. Have the right hand slide towards the right knee. Inhale, lift the left arm up. And as you exhale, you side bend to the right. And you open the left. So we side bend to the right, but it's actually to stretch your left side. Try to engage your abdominal muscle. You also want to protect the lower back. Reach the chest towards the ceiling. One more full cycle of breath. And then tuck the belly. Inhale, lift the left arm up. And exhale to release. Good. And now from here, stay here. Bring the right knee in. Good. And I'm just going to turn this side. All right. Now tuck all 10 toes. Bring the hands to the floor. Inhale. And as you exhale, downward dog. First of the practice, so make sure you pedal out through the knees. You know what to do. You bend one knee, straighten one leg. You can also move a little bit the hips side to side. Find a bit of movement. Gaze underneath one armpit. Gaze underneath the other armpit. Make sure the head is heavy. Good, and then find stillness. And make sure you push the floor forward and down. So you want to push it away from you. If you feel you're running in the upper back, lift the heels, bend the knees a little bit so you can stretch your spine. Now on an inhale, you lift the left leg up, maybe not too high. And as you exhale, you bring the left foot, the right foot, did I say left? I meant right. You mean the right foot between the hands and you release the left knee to the side, to the floor. Now you can do the same with the left knee lifted if you want to. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, release the shoulders. Good. And take a moment here to settle in. You can sink the hips low. And again, you can do that with the knee up if you want to. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you open the right arm to the stoop towards the back of the room. And you can gaze either to the side or towards the back. On your next inhale, lift the right arm up. And now as you exhale, it's the left arm that open towards the back. You gaze either to the side or you gaze back. Good. Inhale, lift the arms above the head. Exhale, bring the hands behind you. Interlace fingers. Squeeze shoulder blades. Lift the chin. Open the heart and look up. And you really want to extend the arms towards the back. We also have a good stretch of the front of the shoulders. Inhale here, exhale, release the hands, bring the hands on each side of the right foot on the floor, lift the back knee, take an inhale to look forward, and as you exhale, downward dog. If you need to pedal out through the feet and the knees, by all means do that, and then make sure that you press the hips back, so imagine you want to touch the back wall with your bum. All right, let's do that on the left side. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, bring the left foot towards your hands, front of the mat, with grace and elegance. Drop the right knee to the, to the floor and keep the right toe stopped. And as you inhale, you lift the arms up. And as you exhale, you drop the shoulders. And you can sink the hips forward and down. But use the breath to do that. No need to go like all the way in one go. You can really use the exhale to soften here. And now take an inhale here. As you exhale, you open the left arm towards the back. You gaze either to the side or towards the left thumb. On an inhale, you bring the left arm up. And as you exhale, you open the right arm towards the back. And then inhale, both arms up. Exhale, hands interlace behind you. Squeeze shoulder blades. Lift the arms from the back and lift the chin, look up and keep sinking the hips. Inhale. Exhale, release the hands on each side of the left foot. Lift the right knee. Inhale to look forward and as you exhale, downward dog. Take two breaths here. Another 
Deep circle of breath. Now look forward towards your hands and you can slightly bring them towards one another. We'll go to a yogic squat. You can either hop to your yogic squat or you can stand. So left foot behind the left hand, on the side of the left hand, right foot, open the feet like a duck, sink the tailbone down, bring the hands to your heart and press the knee away. Now, if you can't have the heels, it's fine. You can be on your toes or you can roll the mat and bring the mat underneath your heels. Now you press the hips, you press the knees away, but the knees press back against the elbows. So you find a deeper stretch in the inner thigh, in the outer hip. You press the sternum towards your thumbs. Take one more full cycle of breath. Then release the hands to the floor. Lean onto the hands so you can straighten the legs. Heel to the feet until they are hips distance apart. And here you can bend the knees and find rugged pose for a moment. Grabbing opposite elbows, letting yourself dangle forward or maybe sway side to side, whatever feels good. And then you release the elbows, you press onto the feet and you slowly Unroll the spine, vertebra by vertebra. The last thing that left is the head. And when you come to standing, you lift the arms above the head, you join the hands, you take a deep stretch looking up. And as you exhale, you fall forward all the way down again. Release the head, bring the weight towards the toes. Good. The hands must touch the floor, so make sure you bend the knees if you need to. Now make a big step with the right foot back. Find yourself in a runner's lunge. You always have the option to set the right knee to the floor, so don't hesitate to do that. As you inhale, lift the arms above the head. And as you exhale, release the shoulders. Good, let's stay here for one more breath. And then inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor. Look forward as you inhale and listen. Exhale, bring the right foot to meet the left and fall forward. Good. Micro bend into the knees. Inhale, lift the arms above the head. Come back to standing. Take a big stretch, looking up. And as you exhale, fall forward, draping the legs. Release the head. The weight is towards the toes. And now the left foot steps back. Option to bring the left knee onto the floor. Make sure the right knee is above the right ankle. And then as you inhale, you lift the arms above the head. And as you exhale, you release. Let's take two more breaths here. Make sure the back leg is strong, the shoulders are above the hips. The right knee towards the right pinky toe. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor. Look forward, stretch the spine, inhale, exhale, come back to the front and release. Micro bend into the knees, inhale, rise all the way to the top. Look up towards the hands and exhale, bring the hands to your heart and release Tadasana. Good, good legs energize. All right, find your mountain pose so your big toes can touch, your heels separate, Arms extended, fingers pointing towards the floor. You can slightly lift the chin. Your crown of the head is reaching high for the sky. Take a moment here to find your breath. Feel the weight of the body through each four corners of your feet. Find a center of gravity. And now on an inhale, stretch your arms above the head. And as you exhale, fall forward. Now step the right foot back. And from here, step the left foot back for downward dog. Good. Now as you inhale, you lift the right leg to the sky. As you exhale, you step the right foot next to your right thumb. 
and you spin the left heel onto the floor. So your left heel is your left foot is about 45 degrees, so you get ready for warrior one. And as you inhale, you find your warrior one. Warrior one, you want to have the hips squared. So you press the left hip forward and you push the right hip back. You press onto the pinky side toe of the back foot. You can join the hands and look up. Or you can keep the gaze forward and the arms, the arms open. It depends a bit on your neck and on your shoulders. You have a very gentle arch in the lower back. You can lift up the ribcage, gently bring the navel towards the spine, engage. One more breath. Now inhale, reach your fingertips high. Exhale, swing the arms behind the back. Interlace fingers the same as we did earlier. As you inhale, you open the chest, you slightly lift the chin. Now option to stay here or option to go into a humble warrior. So you inhale, and as you exhale, you bow forward, bringing the right shoulder inside of the right knee, but this is optional. You can stay in your warrior one with the arms extended back. If you are in humble warrior, you keep bending the right knee, crown of the head towards the floor, arms lift up, one more breath. And then press onto the feet. As you inhale, rise up. Everyone back to warrior one, arms up. And as you exhale, straighten the front legs and lower the arms down. Good. Now you can bring the back foot slightly more inward. Good. Keep squaring the hips. Make sure you haven't opened the hips. Inhale, lift the arms above the head. Join the palms, release the index. And as you exhale, you find a back bend here. Gentle back bend. Ground your feet. Inhale. And as you exhale, you reach forward and you find this variation of pyramid pose. So the index are on top of the right foot or forward. You release the head towards the right knee. Your arms are extended. Yes, beautiful. You can bring the hands to the floor if you want to. Take one more breath here. Now ground the feet. Inhale, lift the arms above the head. Find your back bend again. And exhale back to center. Release the arms. Good. Now let's stay here. Bring the hands onto the hips. Take an inhale. Exhale, fall forward halfway up, only halfway up. So you want to use a bit of core and then release the hands to the floor. Ground the left hand so the left wrist underneath the left shoulder and as you inhale, you twist to the right. So you open the right arm up. Try to keep the hips squared. Inhale again. Exhale, release the right hand to the floor. Bring the left foot towards the left, the, towards the back of the mat. Find yourself in a runner's lunge again. Good. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, downward dog. Find your breath in downward dog. We stay here for three breaths. You can also take charge pose for three breaths. Don't hesitate to take a charge pose. Or you hold downward dog for two more breaths. You can always make it your own practice. I'm on, only there to guide. Now, if you are in child's pose, you can make your way back onto downward dog nicely and gently. Good. And we do that little sequence on the left side. So inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, bring the left foot next to the left thumb. Take your time. Flatten the right foot 45 degrees, bend the left knee, and as you inhale, you lift the arms above the head, you exhale, you release the shoulders. Now you want to push the left hip back and press the right hip forward. Your hands, they can be together in prayer on top of the head, you can also have the, shoulder, the arms separated, see what's possible for you here. Find your inner warrior. 
engage a bit your abdominal muscles and then inhale here exhale hands in the low in towards the back interlace fingers squeeze shoulder blades lift the chin open the chest and you can stay here this is a really good hip opening or you can go to humble warrior with an inhale and as you exhale left knee in left shoulder inside of the left knee crown of the head towards the heel or arms above the head beautiful look at you all in your humble warrior head is heavy you gaze towards the back of the mat one more breath and then press onto the feet inhale back to warrior one exhale straighten the front leg and drop the arms now bring the right foot slightly more inward so you shorter the stance make sure you have your hips square arms alongside the body inhale lift the arms above the head interlace fingers release the index and as you exhale you find the back bend as far as the lower back feels supported and you gaze up inhale exhale reach forward reach 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 the index come in front of the left foot towards the floor you drop the head towards i mean you drop the forehead towards the left shin keep squaring the hips make sure you haven't squeezed the shoulders in your ears one more breath now inhale lift the arms come back up find your back bend again and exhale back to center drop the arms now hands to the hips inhale reach high exhale bend forward only halfway up so you must use a little bit of core here and then release the hands to the floor ground the right hand with the right wrist underneath the right shoulder and as you inhale you twist to the left twisting pyramid pose you gaze to the side or you gaze down and you gaze up but you find a drishti and you don't change it keep squaring the hips one more breath inhale exhale release the left hand move the right foot towards the back of the mat again back into our runner's lunge inhale look forward and exhale downward dog Again, three breaths here or three breaths into child's pose. Wherever you are, stay present. Wherever you are, stay with the breath. Don't let the mind wander going to what's next or what was past and stay here and now. One more second of breath. And then you can all come back to a downward dog. Good. It's the last two ones. As you inhale, you reach your right leg up. And as we exhale, we find pigeon on the right side. So right foot behind the left wrist, right knee behind the right wrist. Now, you want to slide the back foot far so you can tuck the toes, leave the knee slide until you really reach the back of the mat. Now, if you feel that you're sitting onto your right buttocks, you can place a book or a pillow or something. Now, first we stay here with a nice long spine. And again, it can't be stiff. We have a natural curve, but it's long and spacious. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, you can come onto your forearm and the same way did at the beginning of practice. You can also bring the hands, the, the head inside of your hands. Maybe the forehead or maybe the chin. See what you want to do. And if you want a deeper stretch, you can move the arms all the way forward. So find your own variation of pigeon for three more breaths. And you breathe through your right hip. A 
and now you can crawl back up, lift up the chest again, tuck the toes of the back foot, lift the knee, take an inhale, and as you exhale, find your last downward dog of today. Make it nice. And see how different is this last downward dog from the very first one of the practice. And then inhale, lift left, left leg up. Exhale, left foot behind the right wrist, left knee behind the left wrist. Slide the back leg as far as you can and point the toes. Now let's first come onto the hands. And again, if you feel you're like sitting, you can support the buttocks with a book or with a pillow. Take a breath here. Exhale, come onto the forearm. You can stay on the forearms. You can also use your hands to support the head, either the forehead or the chin, or you can go all the way down. You can do that in several breaths. We'll be here for about three more. And notice the place where you hold tension. Are you holding tension in the forehead, in the jaw, in the hip? and use your exhale to release any tension you are holding on to. And then slowly crawl back up. If you have a support underneath the left buttocks, you can remove it and you can sit onto the left buttocks and you can swing the right leg forward. Good. I'm just going to face you now. Now from here, find a city straddle split. So open the legs wide. Maybe not too wide. Don't worry how wide they are. Don't worry about how I look. What you want to do though is toes, flex the toes so you have the knees pointing up. Now the first option, and you can remove the, the, the muscle from your sit bones. Your first option is to bring the, hand, the arms right behind you and to push the pelvis forward. And if you want to stay here for about five breaths, you can stay here. Your chest is lifted and you feel that in the inner, inner thighs. Or then you move the hands forward and you slightly start to come forward. I think it's one of the poses that requires the most patience and resilience. Now the idea is to bring the belly onto the floor, not the nose. So if you are stuck here, don't worry about it. What you can do is just open up the chest and drop the shoulders. And if that's your edge, that's your edge. And then you work from here. And you have to have compassion with yourself. You have to have patience with yourself. These poses, they don't come in just like one go. They take practice. And that's what you're here for. You're here to practice, not to perform. Your heart is nicely open. We'll stay here for two more breaths. One more breath. Good, and then slowly crawl back up. Forget what just happened, no need to think about it anymore. Let's go back to this present moment. Bring right hand on the knees, right knee, lift the knee, place the foot onto the floor. One hand on the knees, the other one, place, lift and place. Hands behind you and windshield wiper your legs a few times, side to side. It should feel good. All right, and then back to center. Just gonna swing back here. Now ground the feet onto the floor, knees pointing up. Extend the arms, tuck the chin, and let's move on to the back very nicely and elegantly. Don't slam yourself, right? Good. <laughs> all right, and all the way down. Good. Now move your feet a little closer to you. Now cross the right leg over the left as if you were sitting in a chair like a lady. All right, not like a gentleman, like a lady. Now lift the feet, so bring the, the legs towards you 
And now the left hand grabs the right foot and the right hand grabs the left foot. Now lift the feet a little bit and now press towards you. So you want to use a little bit of muscle here. Oh, and you should feel such a good stretch in your right hip. And you breathe through it. So we have done quite a lot of external rotation. So now we are internally rotating our hips. We are counterposing. Take a few more breaths. Breathe through the tension. Breathe through the stretch. One more big inhale. And exhale, slowly release the feet. Keep your knees crossed, but bring the left foot to the floor. Now open the arms in a T. You can double wrap now. If you want to take eagle legs, you could, or you can stay here. And then you move the hips slightly to the right. You inhale, as you exhale, you bring the knees to the left and the gaze to the right for a spinal twist. Try to soften the shoulders onto the floor. And deep belly breath. One more deep belly breath. And on the next inhale, move the knees back up. Move the hips back to center and uncross your legs. Good. Take a moment here to readjust. Arms alongside the body. And then the left knee crosses over the right leg like a lady. Bring the thigh towards the chest. The right hand grabs the right foot. Is it? No. The left hand grabs the, left, the right foot. The right hand the left foot. Now lift the feet a little bit so you have a bit more space. Inhale, and now as you exhale, you bend a little bit the elbows and you bring the, the knees closer to you. And you should now find a good stretch towards the left outer hip and inner thigh. It's a bit like Gomukasana, the calf face legs, but in a, in a supine position. Deepen the breath. Slow down. And then inhale. Exhale, slowly release the feet, the feet. Bring the right foot to the floor. Keep the legs as they are. Open the arms in a T. You can double wrap so you can bring the right ankle behind the left calf muscle if you want. And then you move the hips to the left, you inhale, and as you exhale, you move the knees to the right. So you roll onto your uh, right side, and you gaze to the opposite side. And three deep belly breath. As you inhale, belly rises. As you exhale, belly falls. Two more. One more time. And on the next inhale, you come back to center. Hips back to center and cross the legs. Now bring your both knees to the chest and find happy baby pose. So either grabbing the inside of the feet or maybe you wrap around the big toes or the, 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 the anchors, sometimes it's easier to grab the anchors. Make sure that the lower back stays onto the floor. Now, if you want a deeper stretch in your happy baby, you can straighten both legs, or one after the other. You can also roll onto the back, side to side. Take a few more breaths here. And then inhale. As you exhale, you release happy baby pose by bringing the knees back to the chest. 
Wrap your arms around your shins. Lift the upper back. Lift the lower back. You can even grab your feet and you squeeze yourself into a little ball. I always like to think about my grandmother hugging me. So you want to squeeze that, 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 that. You want to create a little bit of tension here. And then you inhale. And as you exhale, you can slowly release into Shavasana. Left foot, left corner of the mat. Right foot, right corner of the mat. Let the feet flop to the side, the arms open by your side. And make sure that you are aligned, that the head, the neck, and the spine are fully aligned. Take a moment to settle in your Shavasana. And make your body as comfortable as possible. Your arms are down to your side, the palms up, and your legs flopped open. And you can feel your body let go. And allow the floor to fully support you. Feel the floor under the body. And imagine that the floor lifts slightly to support you. And you can let go and feel the body melting into the floor. Release the body and soften. Bring your attention to your breath. And notice how the body lifts with the inhale and then lowers with the exhale. And allow the body to breathe on its own. Allow the breath to become lighter and lighter. And notice how with every exhale, the body drops a little closer to the floor. The body gets a little heavier. Notice how easy it is to be in your body right now after this practice. And notice that feeling of peace and quiet. Whenever the mind wanders, you can acknowledge where it's gone and very gently tell yourself to come back to the natural flow of your breath. Now take a deep breath in to awaken your heart. And breathe out. Take another deep breath in to awaken the heart. And breathe out. You can gently start to find movements in your, in your wrists, your ankles, your fingers and your toes. Turn the head very gently from one side and then to the other. And then back to center. You can bend the knees, bring the feet flat to the floor. And you can roll to the side, 
finding a fitter position. And here you can come back to your intention and you can again repeat it three times. What do you want to release? And then with the support of your hands, you can gently come back to a seated position with your legs crossed, your eyes closed, gentle lift in your heart. Place your hands together, bringing the energies together. Iram, Pingala, the sun and the moon. Yin and the yang, lifting the elbows, filling the space between the armpits. And you can honor yourself for making the time to be on your mat. And honor your beautiful, strong and healthy body for allowing you to do yoga today. And to close the practice, we'll chant together the peace mantra Aum Shanti Shanti Shanti. You can exhale. Now inhale to chant. Aum Shanti Shanti Shanti. May there be peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, and in your hearts. Namaste. Thank you everyone. Thank you for joining my yoga class today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't hesitate to leave me a comment. Tell me where you are. I know some of you are in Canada. Some of you are in the States and other, of course, in Belgium. And if you are in Belgium, beginning of December, I organized a Hatha Yoga and Sound Healing Workshop in Brussels. You'll find all information on my website. I hope to see you there. And then, well, I wish you all a very good day, a week or a weekend. Take very good care of yourself. And I'll see you next time.